candlestick. Stems broken. Stick. Stems broken. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. around recognize this amulet hmm yes Anna began wearing it a time ago any idea where she got it none any witches or cunning women in the area a pella old coop lives near black bow and there's a cunning woman in midcops but I know little about her she's only recently arrived if Anna were to see someone she'd choose the pella not the woman Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Wanna have a chat with this peller? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and ploughs his gut. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. Pam, pam, pam. Oh, that's cheap. 
self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? Comfortable, strong and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armour. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordorok use on Undvik. Joanna! I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pest our folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Unvik for his armour. Said Tordorok folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armour for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools, but only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes, north side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Wow, wow, wow. 
the stuff in full of that shite he told Edric. Think I got scabies. Some strays. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb mages pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. That's dance. I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper. Designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper for Anna to protect her. So, designed to protect her from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanted to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a penna could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits, great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, princess, where have you got to, girl? Fine, I'll get your goat. The bell, the little bell's ringing. She loves it, ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them.
this way, I think. Another clue. from the pillar for there are wolves about. Go! 
coat of mine, dearest, sweetest coat. shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. It is a being cursed and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got. So long. Get here.
sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Don't much care what you have to say. I'm supposed to find your family, and I will, with your dead baby's help. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that he may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a leprechaun, they can bury us in it, handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. i to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Look.
You killed my child. You know I had to. You were supposed to lift the curse. Save it, damn you, not kill it. Do anything stupid and I'll kill you too. Go plow yourself. Kill me if you must. I've nothing to live for anyway. You've got another daughter and a wife and the botchling's blood will help me find them. What? What will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Just peruse it. Show me what you've got on offer.
What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Blood, blood, blood. The Pella knows, knows the ritual, ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. All right, let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The white wolf must follow the pillar. The pillar will show the way. We got a long way to go. Now the head's not far. Through the village, then the wood, and there we will be. All this the Baron's land? It is now. Twere not before. So who did it belong to? To the Lord. Sarah, they called him. An evil man he were. Vile. Cared not a lick for common folk. You all get together and drive him away? When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields afire, and a great hunger descended on us all, while the Lord in abundance wallowed there in the Tower of Mice. But the old gods, in their ire, upon him visited a punishment. A plague of rodents swarmed the isle. At first, they ate all. Enough guardians hit you pretty hard. Focus where the mighty will send themselves with the but the invaders will be punished. That's true. The dust has already been. As the pestilence grips their mind, will devour them all. As the mice devoured the Lord's cause. Show me what you got. in the name aloud. Here, the place. What now? Light the fires. All right, no reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. to be your home. I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it. Supposed to keep the fires lit.
blood summons me. A thick flow upon skin, dark blood upon a light stone. I am the unnamed. I am blood immersed in blood. I, I am dead. both weak, but for different reasons, yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Wojtek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Hmm. And the prophecy at the end? With Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits. The spirits speak through the ritual, not he. This Wojtek from your vision. Know him? Wojtek, Wojtek. Two Wojteks have we near about. In Black Bell lives one. In his hut, there he stays, has for years. 
Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he can remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. Time I was on my way. Thanks for your help. Refuse? Why, the pillar could never have refused. A man seeks to do good in life, but evil is unavoidable. The ones who encounter evil, why, they must be helped. Fare thee well, and may the gods bless and keep you.